guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we need to get the house back in order after a little bit of relaxing and hanging out and with 10 people in the house, that ends up meaning there are messes to clean up. So I'm glad you joined me for this one. If you need some motivation for getting your house clean and back in order, this is the place to be. So let's get started. So welcome back to another fabulous day in our home. Yes, we make big messes, but we clean them up and I have a couple people working with me behind the scenes today. Those would be my children. And so you won't see them in this video, but I promise they are helping. Some of the jobs that you might wonder, how did that get done? Well, it was probably done by some helpful hands that yes, they're required to help uh, clean up. They live here, so they're part of making the messes and the cleanup jobs. So I just started by clearing this kitchen counter and um, it definitely felt like an overwhelming mess. I think whenever everything is scattered everywhere, it's that, oh my goodness, where do I even start? Well, I decided to start in the messiest room and that's usually what I do because when the messiest room is back in order, it definitely gives you a little bit of momentum to get the rest of the house done. So once I got all the dishes piled up in the kitchen, a sink, I just uh, started tackling those. And I did make myself a bowl of soapy water so that as I was loading the dishwasher, I could also hand wash the things that need to be hand washed. I usually like the kitchen to be a little bit more organized and today it just wasn't. It was just piled up, everything mixed together. Those big pans, I'm not gonna throw them in the dishwasher, so I scrubbed them by hand, and then I loaded cups and plates and those kind of things into the dishwasher. And I'm so thankful to have a dishwasher, let me tell you, um, for many, many years, probably well over 10 years, we didn't have a dishwasher, and we've had this one for about a year, so I'm super thankful for it, and I love using it personally, but my children do help with the dishes most the time after most every meal. loading my dishwasher I want to encourage you to hop up and do some kind of cleaning job around your house too 
It might be loading or unloading your dishwasher or it might be just straightening up your room or the living room, but I promise you that sense of satisfaction when the video is over will be yours if you can look around your house and see that you've made some improvements also. So I invite you to join with me in some cleanup tasks today. love having this little stove area totally clean and wiped down it's so satisfying and then i went ahead and started the dishwasher i've been using this um, cascade gel i've also used like the powder in the box i rarely buy the dishwasher tabs because i just feel like they're probably not as good of a deal what do you do um, on that like are you frugal conscious when buying your dishwashing detergent or um, do you just buy what's easiest I have definitely gotten some of those dishwasher tabs on a, um, a sale where they were like very reduced if you bought some them in conjunction with something else and so I went ahead and did that and tried them out I loved them they were easy and it kept things simple for my kids the older kids will start the dishwasher sometimes and they didn't overfill or underfill you know they just use one little tab so what do you think about that um I would love some tips since I am new to the dishwasher game all right now I've said dishwasher enough so let's move on to a different topic so I went ahead and wiped down the countertops and um just got everything nice and clean. I really like using my Thieves spray. That's what I had in the glass bottle. That's what I was using um, over on the uh, stove area. And that's probably my favorite spray to use in the kitchen just because I know that it is safe to use around food. And that definitely leaves me feeling really good about you know what my family's being exposed to. I tend to be a little more conscious about using more natural products and less harsh chemicals, especially where we're gonna be touching. Now real quick, I am clearing the clutter off the table. Some of this is just clutter, but a good portion of it was stuff out of our snack bag from our trip that we just got back from. So I was gathering those snacks up and they did get put away in our snack jar. We have a big snack jar kind of on the um, inside edge of the countertop and it's just a big oversized clear glass jar. I think I got it for Wal from Walmart for like $8 and something. It's the largest size they have. And we typically just feel, fill it up with things that are easy to um, have for a snack. Like we have instant oatmeal, but we also have things like granola bars or small packs of crackers. They're just things that we have gathered over time and there's a mix in there and the kids eat through them. Sometimes they'll eat them down really quickly and sometimes things will linger in there. I can kind of judge off of that which are the favorites and which we should replace. as fly lady says is one task that i love to finish the kitchen with it definitely makes the kitchen feel like it's done and cleaned and it just feels so good to have um, the sink shining so i totally see that why that's one of fly lady's tips i don't know if you've ever followed her but for years and years i would get her emails and kind of take her encouragement on just homemaking and keeping the house running smoothly. I love some of her tips and I still very much apply them today. As you can see, I'm wearing my shoes, which when I need to get busy and really stick with it till the job is done, I will put on a pair of shoes. And it's not something that I follow 
100% of the time, uh, I love lounging around the house and I don't mind running outside either barefoot or in flip flops that are by the door. But when I want to stay focused, I am either wearing shoes or an apron. Both of those things really give me the signal, stick with it till the end, don't give up. And so I was just finishing up the table here and having the kitchen and dining room kind of tackled at the same time is such a relief. ask me how is it living with your in-laws and I love it because my in-laws are so thoughtful they love the Lord and they're always thinking of us so my mother-in-law had to go to the grocery store and she offered to bring me a few things and since we just got back from a trip I told her yes we definitely need milk and eggs and just the basics and so I did tell her a couple of vegetables we wanted but she picked up even more than that and even brought back a surprise for the kids so let me show you real quick what she brought for me so in the back, we have um, a bag of zucchini and some cucumbers. She brought almond milk, regular milk, a roll of ground beef and ground turkey, um, a few bunches of bananas, and we'll definitely go through that. And then there's a bag of apples for the kids. This is cabbage, which we love and we'll eat a lot, onions. There's Kerrygold butter, my favorite ham for the kids for sandwiches and this was the big surprise neapolitan ice cream i know they'll love that there's a couple um, heads of romaine lettuce carrots a 10 pound bag of chicken leg quarters and a couple loaves of bread so that will definitely get us through and i'm so thankful that she's always thinking of us I did just take a few minutes to wipe down the refrigerator. This wasn't really a deep clean of the refrigerator, but it did have some stickiness on the shelves and needed a thorough wipe down. So I just got a bowl of hot soapy water and gave everything a wipe and a dry. And now I can put away my groceries in a reasonably clean refrigerator. I love having a clean refrigerator. Like it's very important to me and I know it's hidden to most people, but if I know the refrigerator is a mess, I feel really disorganized and out of order and concerned that we're gonna have things going bad and getting missed. So usually weekly I'll wipe down the refrigerator. If not, then at least every time I go grocery shopping. So since I had these wonderful surprise groceries to put away, I decided that I better give the refrigerator a quick wipe down before I add them to what was quite a mess. And with that, the kitchen and dining room are really done. It feels so good to have this space clean. 
I just wiped down with a little bit of my Thieves cleaner from that glass bottle. I got that bottle, spray bottle from Walmart. Um, I thought that was a really good find. I think it was $4 or $4.50. Uh, I love it and I've been using it and also the kids have the signal. This one stays in the kitchen, so that's been really helpful to me. The living room wasn't too much of a mess at all. After picking up some things that were just laying around and fluffing the pillows back up, I just needed to quickly vacuum and this area was pretty much straightened up. I'm so glad that we have developed the habit of spending a few minutes cleaning up and putting things back together before we go to bed in the evening. That has been the game changer to keeping the room tidy. I know it's challenging when you have little ones, but we started by just setting a five minute timer and saying, okay, everyone help tidy up for five minutes. Honestly, you could even start with two minutes if you're trying to get your kids in a new routine of tidying up before bed. But now if I say, let's do a 10 minute tidy, we honestly go to bed with a clean and tidy house and it's such a relief to wake up in the morning without so much mess. I know when my kids were little sometimes it was just so exhausting and I'd be laying down to put the kids to bed also so the mess would just linger for the morning but it's so worth getting it cleaned up the night before. love this little area of our home. It's so cute and cozy. We put a little rug over here and a little chair and it's an area where the kids do like to play Legos but we kind of made it a little book nook. We have some of our regular books that we've decided to keep on the shelves and then the two lower shelves are mostly all children's books. This basket that we have is kind of the ongoing books that either the kids are reading or we're reading together or things that will be coming up. Um, for our our school year. This is what we used to use as our library basket and we may go back to that as the school year kind of gets into the swing. It's nice to keep the library books corralled in one place. But I just love this little spot in the home and that pretty much finishes things up for us. So I will give you some last shots of our clean and tidy living room, kitchen and dining room. It feels so good to have this job done. Thanks for joining me today. I hope you got something in your house clean or if you haven't started yet, happy cleaning to you and I will see you next time. Bye.